Tiffany, honey, you okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, the uh, bottom's finally reached the top, huh? Yes, well, I thought it was kind of cute. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 not at all. Okay. Uh, you didn't uh, burn yourself, bruise yourself. Oh, no, no, no. I just had a uh, brief domestic flash. Oh, <laughs> you were going to cook breakfast, then? I got a little dispute, Charlie. I haven't had an awful lot of food to eat in the last couple of days. Oh, yeah. In fact, there's uh, the world still out there. I really wouldn't know. I didn't bother to look. Oh, well, don't you think maybe we might need just a little bit of food to oh, keep it going? Not me. I mean, even a strong man like yourself needs a little food. You can't mm. live on love, can you? Oh, we can try, though, can't we? Can we try? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just try? Mm. Well, I can see the headlines now, Sean. Lovers found starved to death locked in each other's arms. It's a great idea. Oh, I have another paragraph. Mm. The refrigerator was well stocked, mm. adding mystery um, to the situation. Well, I think Dan and Philip will figure that one out. Well, I think that's a very good story. In fact, if I were not one of the dead lovers, I would put that on the Southern Court news. No, I want to just write it up and uh, leave it for posterity. Mm. Mm. Yes, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I think I've given anyone else my scoop. Besides, I think it's a little, uh, nice. It's kind of like Romeo and Juliet. Oh, come on. They were kids. Oh, besides, they were miserable most of the time. We have not been miserable for even five seconds. I like that. Two. 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 So I got this lovely idea. To wake me up, right? No. I'm crushed. Oh, you animal, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I thought that I would let you know that not only am I a gorgeous, sexy uh -huh. woman, I'm also a great cook. Are you? Mm -hmm. So I was just going to, you know, whip up something with eggs. Like what? Well, I don't, I don't know. I was just going to kind of, you know, experiment. <laughs> Well, I know you have to peel them. Uh, yeah, I have a feeling that whatever went on in that kitchen probably saved us from fate worse than death. When was the last time you were actually in a kitchen? I have you no. Know, I was in a kitchen just a few days ago. It was, um, we have a kitchen set at the studio, and there's this wild woman. There's this crazy <laughs> cooking show. <laughs> you ever watch her? Yeah. Um, well, not really since she did the octopus cook. I'm starving. Even that would be good now. <laughs> oh, come on. We can always go out for breakfast. No, no. What's the matter? I don't know. I guess I do know. I, it, it, Sean, it's, it's, it's... Those puppets in my room, that is the reason I haven't forced myself to go back to the brownstone. Oh, and here, all along, I thought it was me. You know, wild passion and all that. Oh. Maybe you did. I have to move with it. Oh. I just... I just can't stand the thoughts of going back there just... Oh, look, 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 I told you before. There's nothing to do with you. Yeah, but whoever it is. I mean, they got the wrong room, Sean. They could get the wrong woman, you know? What makes you so sure it's a he? Oh, a she. You know, I would put my money on that Lizzie Carl creature. I gotta tell you something. If uh, I have visiting privileges and frequent ones, I'll let you hide out in Robin's secret room. How's that? Oh, why does it? Why don't you come and stay? Not bad idea. Oh, yeah. I'm a little surprised about something, though. What? What happened to that woman who relished the idea of living on the edge of danger? I still want to live on the edge of danger. Just some whacked out crazy murder is not that, you know? It's not the same thing. Oh, I love, I love the puppets. I got that one. All right, now any of the stores in Port Charles that might sell these puppets? Yeah, right, I can't believe it. Well, just wait a minute, I'm writing, I'm writing. Can you spell that slowly for me, please? Well, you hear the news. 
For what? Frisco and Felicia are moving back here. No kidding. <laughs> Felicia, I believe it's welcome back. Oh, thanks. It's going to be good to be back. They're taking Jimmy Lee's old apartment. Oh, really? Well, maybe you could persuade Yank to move out and you could take your old apartment back. Oh, no need for that. I have my reasons for wanting to stay in Jimmy Lee's place. What reasons? Oh, just because. Oh, these are the phone the headquarters about them now. Terrible, I know. Uh, she handled the shock pretty well. I'm still worried about her. You're on the list, too. I know, but it's Terry who I'm worried about. Terry, got it. Well, Frisco's off the phone. Frisco? Hmm. So, when are you moving back in? Well, I'd like it today, but I don't know if we could swing it. Uh, well, we could all help. Uh, Patrick's day off. What do you think, Bobby? I say, grab the free labor while it's around. <laughs> well, any word on where the puppets might have been bought? Well, I just talked to headquarters. They gave me a list of stores that sell the puppets here in Port Charles. Now I'm going to go check it out and see if they can remember who bought them. Well, at least you're in good shape with the description of the one person we think did it. I'm going to try to find solid evidence against Lucy. No offense, Jack. You need a lot more solid evidence than you got right now. You keep an eye on Terry. You know it. I'll see it. Honey, I gotta get going. A little police business, okay? Yeah. I knew you'd give a way to get out of the work on this. Well, sweetheart, it's my job. If I could stay and help, I would. I'll come back and if I have time, all right? Don't worry about it. No, we've got all the muscle we need around here. Oh, good. I hope Briscoe can nail that person who bought those puppets. If anything happened to Terry, I don't know what I'd do. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take about what? Well, because people go when they never come back, and you and Frisco are coming back, and I'm getting happier about this by the minute. Well, we're certainly getting a wonderful welcome. That means a lot. It means a lot to Jake and me, too. Would you like to hear a practical note? Sure. It's certainly going to be a lot easier cleaning the studio apartment than it is going to clean that penthouse. Do you realize how many acres of carpeting that is? Backing and backing and all the time. Hey, I still don't understand why you didn't ask Yang to trade apartments with you. Oh, well, I have some plans of my own I've been working out. Like what? Well, I haven't got all the kinks worked out just yet, but I think we should have a meeting with everyone from the brownstone one day this week. You're being awfully mysterious about this, my dear. Well, I'm not being mysterious about one thing, that's for sure. What's that? You and know, Jake starting a family. Remember when we talked last week? I think it's getting a little contagious. You're not pregnant. No, but I've been doing some serious thinking. And for scope? Well, I think you'll be ready when the time comes. When the time I think you'll be ready when the time comes. I really do. Oh, Felicia, I love it. Kids, it's kids. I want kids all over the brownstone. Have you heard any words from your surrogate mother yet? Gretchen? Mm -hmm. No. No word yet. Well, you know she's pregnant. <sighs> Could be weeks. Let me ask you something. What? What are people saying about Jake and me using a surrogate mother? Saying? Well, for some people it could be a shocking concept. You know, no one I know, that's for sure. There's been a lot of negative publicity. I know, but everybody's lately. all for it. Really? No downers? No downers, not one. As a matter of fact, whenever anybody does mention it, they always say, isn't it great? Jake and Bobby are going to be such wonderful parents. will be. That's what counts. Bring a child in the loving arms to responsible parents. That's a dream for a child. You're even acting like an expensive mother. I am. <laughs> yeah, you're getting the nursery ready even now. I just can't resist buying everything. I guess I, I have the spirit need to feel like I'm nesting. I just want the baby to feel like it's mine. You know what I mean? I want the baby to be mine. Don't worry about it. The baby is yours. Okay, I know. But 